friends i have bank statement in pdf format with multiple pages so let's see how you can import multiple pages of bank statement in excel using power query go to my screen this is the target bank statement which i am going to import and you can see it runs across multiple pages okay 3 to 4 pages so let's see how to import this in excel using power query so i'll go to data tab get data from file and from pdf so you would get this option only if you are office 365 version of excel okay let me browse this statement and select it and let's enable select multiple items okay because our statement has spread across multiple tables okay like first uh, this we can discard it is just header okay so right from here the statement starts okay so i will start checking this boxes for multiple pages and it may run across multiple pages also means split into multiple tables okay it purely depends on how excel interprets this pdf table okay so you can see it has gone to multiple tables so four pages split into nine tables so it depends okay now now you can see that uh, it detected column header for first page but from second page onward it couldn't detect okay now i'm going to basically first merge all this tables okay so now one condition for merging is that the column name okay and number of columns should be same and exactly similar for all the tables you are merging okay so right from table number 4 to 9 you can see column number 1 to 8 okay but first one it is different okay so what i am going to do i am going to remove this first two these last two steps of promote header okay so that it looks consistent for merging okay like we can remove this change type step because this step might uh, create issue so i am going to each table and removing this change type because i want to manually detect the date types okay now all these are consistent let us merge all this okay now merge when i'm saying in english so basically for power query it is append okay append multiple tables so append queries as a new three or more tables okay so i want to merge this and i would select like this shift and add this so page 1 to 4 all the tab nine tables okay and let's press okay okay now let's do some operations like now we can uh, all these pages have merged all tables have merged now we can apply some steps like the first row is a header okay so i can go to transform and tell it that use first row as a header okay like this and we can remove this uh, blank rows okay where null as is there so i'll go to transaction date and i will say remove empty rows okay now you can see and let's check if data types have been properly detected okay this two are validate transaction date it is date type okay perfectly detected text text and all these three amounts are decimal number okay decimal number perfect 1.2 so it has perfectly auto detected this after the merging okay okay now let's use close and load to option because otherwise excel would try to dump all this 9 to 10 pages into separate worksheet okay so first time i will say create only connection okay so that nothing gets load now i am specifically i can say that this this uh, merge statement i can right click and click load to and choose table and insert it here 
now you can see okay so in this way you can import multiple pages also lastly this technique might not work on each and every bank statement in pdf format it would work on selective one and it purely depends on how excel is able to decode and interpret tables from the pdf and also you need to have office 365 version of excel installed so if you like this technique please try this and like my video and subscribe to the youtube channel